What's up guys, Jared back again with another extremely useful app review for you guys today. Uh, we're actually gonna be taking a look at two different apps, but in two different videos. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at CloudSend. Now, CloudSend is free in the App Store. What blows my mind about this though, and like most really useful apps that I download, it hasn't had a whole lot of downloads from the Play Store. It's got great feedback, just like, I think 500 downloads so far, which blows my mind because of the usefulness of this application. So what it lets you do is send any file type you want on your Android phone. It could be, you know, application uh, uh, files. It could be pictures, videos, documents, anything you can imagine. You can send with this application to any phone, Windows phone, iPhone, Blackberry. It doesn't matter their operating system. They'll receive it all the same way. Now, how do you do that without, you know, the operating systems compressing the file sizes, cropping the images and screwing around with it and just in the end, ultimately bunging up the whole the whole transfer process to begin with. Well, what this particular application allows you to do is acts it, it accesses your Dropbox account. Okay, now you do have to allow it the privilege to do so, um, and then it sets up a folder in there. Now, when you download this application, you'll be brought to this sort of welcome screen here. Now, as you go through, it'll kind of explain how you use the application. You'll get to this screen here so that you can authorize it to access your Dropbox folder and so on. Don't worry, it only has access to that particular folder on your Dropbox account. So you don't have to worry about them going in there and finding all the uh, naked pictures of you and your woman or whatever it may be. I'm kidding, not really. So once you've finished setting it all up, you're ready to go. There isn't anything else for you to do. There's no other setup, there's no nothing. I mean, even the settings menu here, as you can see, you've got analytics, which is sending um, uh, anonymous data, which you can't uncheck and so on. So anyways, we'll back out of there. We'll jump into our gallery, just as an example to demonstrate how this works. Now I've got a picture of my big fat puggle ready to go. And um, we'll click on the share button there and you'll notice we have CloudSend selected or it's in the options there. Go ahead and click on that and it'll immediately start uploading that file to that Dropbox folder. Now I'm on Wi-Fi, so it is obviously uploading uh, relatively quickly, um, but I mean, that was like a super high quality. I, I always take my pictures at the highest resolution possible. So now once it's done uploading, this little notification changes to allow you to use SMS to send, or you can use um, any other application, messaging applications that you have to send that particular file. So we'll go ahead and click on SMS here. Now I've already done a test before um, this video started, and this is the this is what your recipient will see. Now, what the only issue I found with this app is that the recipient might get confused. They'll see this the file name there, click on it, and nothing will happen. It'll add as if like it, it'll it'll act as if it wants to add it as a contact your contacts list. I didn't like that. That's not very intuitive. So what they have to do is click on the link below. Once they click on the link below, they can go ahead and click on open URL and the image will pop up. And now this is what I like about CloudSend is that you can actually view the image right from the Dropbox folder via the browser. And if you want to, you can go ahead and click the middle button there and that'll obviously download it to your SD card or internal storage or whatever it may be. I like that it gives you that option. I like how it lets you preview the image before you download it because maybe you don't want to download it, right? So I really, really like that. Um, the application is free in the Play Store, if you can believe it or not. Um, I mean, there's no advertising that I've been able to find I think they should be charging for it, but you know, you guys are probably killing me yelling, don't tell them to charge for it, Jerry, don't be stupid. Um, but it's a really useful application. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've tried to send um, pictures to friends that have iPhones and it just garbles it all up. It totally screws up the image and everything. This is the best way to do it, honestly. This is absolutely fantastic and I'm surprised it hasn't been downloaded more. Anyways, I'll be posting a link in the description below for you guys to go download and test it out. Um, see if you like it. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. And um, yeah, that's it. So anyways, if you like the video, um, show me some love by hitting that likes button down below. It shows me which videos and applications you guys do like and which ones you don't like and so on and so forth. Also, also if you haven't subscribed already, you may want to consider are doing so. It is free after all. Um, for more videos like this one in the future, we do have videos five days a week. Uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to be doing now the video on Send It. And I'll be posting a annotation in this video to link to this video right now. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.